What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to beautiful Haynes, Alaska. Today I've done another clean out and we are going to be upgrading our system with hopefully another piece of tier 4 machinery. Um, now I don't know really what I want to get today. We have the option of the trommel or changing the duplex jig. I think the duplex jigs I'm going to want to do at the same time. And I don't know if we're going to have enough money for that. We have about 350 grand in the bank right now and I just did a little clean out. Uh, so I think I got like 1500 grams of gold basically or three bars So we'll quickly sell these and see what we're working with, but it's probably only gonna be a little bit over 400 grand We'll definitely check out the duplex jigs though and see how much they are All right, so for some reason I only have two bars here now. I know I got three so that's really weird um, I even double checked the blacksmith because I swear I only grabbed two and uh, I guess I was right because we don't have a third so I don't know where the rest of my gold went. It was about 400 grams of gold, which isn't much, but slightly frustrating. Let's go back there real quick just to see if I can get it. So let me just make sure I didn't leave it in there. I'm pretty sure I checked for, and double-checked, actually. Yeah, so... Oh, actually, whoa. Wait, what? I don't have any... What? I can't even smelt it. That is so weird that that just... Oh! Okay, I swear I double-checked that before starting this episode! And I guess I had to move the thing for the bar to pop. I don't know what the hell just happened there. That's all right. We got our bar. The mystery has been solved. He tried to screw me over. He got caught. Let's go sell this real quick. It's probably only an extra 20 grand anyway. So yeah, like I said, we're working with about 400 grand worth of money right now. Okay. So sell gold bar. There we go. An extra 18 grand. Again, that's probably not going to change much. But hey, at least we got it now. And we still are paying off that loan. Um, I, I know it's an ongoing joke now that I always talk about my loan, but hey, it's, it's always on my mind in this damn game Because I'm dumb and I like to get large loans uh, Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna check the prices here. I'm thinking we're probably gonna get the trommel that should help the yields I don't think as well as our last upgrade, but it definitely we're gonna need the, the upgrades anyway So the new trommels the old Arnold's uh, it's 273 grand, so we definitely have enough for that um, What does it say this trommel may not look the most attractive but it the performance far exceeds the basic models now I don't know really what it really means by performance and I gotta say it looks actually pretty good compared to what I'm using at least which is this rust bucket uh, it's not too bad now it's not the reinforced trauma we can actually we're pretty close to being able to afford that but I do want to check out tier 4 before we go to tier 5 uh, we may as well enjoy all this equipment so we currently have the cheap old duplex jigs and I really want to get rid of these things because they break more often than anything else to do that we're gonna need is it the planter? Yeah, it's the planter because the gravel pumps the next tier up and that one's way too expensive for me. So technically I could either buy one of these and have one duplex jig and one of these. What does it actually say it does? Uh, it may not look like a, techno a te technologically advanced machine, but it does the job well and it's a suitable jig replacement for a bit of a higher price. Now, the reason why I don't really want to do this one is because the only method of getting gold after this is in the buckets and that's always been my lowest yield. So I feel like upgrading this isn't going to upgrade my gold output too much. Then again, it might be way better than a duplex jig, and the reason why I'm not getting much gold out of this thing is because this thing's a piece of crap. Uh, but I think we're going to go for the trommel today. This is going to be fun. It's the most annoying piece of machinery to install. It actually looks shorter, too, which I'm wondering how that's going to work. And yeah, I, this will help out with the moss mats, at least, which is our biggest yield for gold. I'm hoping we have enough power. That's one thing I'm worried about. But obviously, we have enough money if we do need to go buy another generator. All right, so let's get back to our claim site. By the way, it is officially summertime, so we're in the middle of the year now, year two. Um, hopefully, summer goes well. I'm feeling pretty good about this year. Uh, but yeah, the heat's here, and we are going to try and collect as much water as possible before the winter comes. And I'll explain why once we get back to our site. All right, and now I'm a little nervous because uh, moving things is always fun in this game. So yeah, I wanted to show you, um, we have sorted out the plumbing. If you remember in the last episode, plumbing, is that, is that the right word? I mean, we got the water to our site. Uh, but yeah, in the last episode, I was trying to stupidly do two pumps, and then you guys suggested that I just directly connect to the water tower. Why I didn't think of that, I don't know, but this thing, we don't need a pump because it's gravity-fed. So yeah, uh, we actually get, uh, what is it, 
400 liters per minute out of one hose, and we actually have three ex uh, uh, attach points, so we don't ever need pumps again, aside from pumping water into the tower. Now, I realize the thing that's making the tower glitch out is actually pushing the water through the pump. It's thinking the pump's going into the river, I think, because no nobody sets it up this way except for my dumbass. So it's actually a way to get limitless water in the winter, which is great, we don't have to worry about that, but if we do it this way of not using a pump, we actually are using the water inside the tower. So I've been slowly filling it, as you can see, and for some reason it's not filling right now. Oh uh, crap, look at, look at this, see? This is why I should have got rid of the duplex jig, so... I've had an issue three days in a row, the computer not working. It's working today, thank God. Um, we're gonna have to repair these things. I guess the benefit of having two pumps is I don't need to buy spare parts. We can just take them off this pump. But yeah, water has been sorted. We are going to get 100% gold yield now. We don't have to worry about not having enough power or not having enough flow. Uh, so that's good. And uh, yeah, once we get this pump repaired, we're gonna try and fill that thing up as much as we can because it does use a lot of water to push through this system. All right, so now we should be filling that tower as we prepare to move this trauma. God, this thing is in the worst spot to grab to. We might have to remove some things just to get the trauma or access to the trauma. So I I've always been worried about this piece because it's the worst. Uh, let me just make sure we're pumping water before we start working because we may as well slowly fill up this as we are working. All right, yeah, looks like the water pump should be okay. It might be fun trying to get through here with a trommel, though. We might need to move them then, but I figured we'd get rid of this one first, uh, just to get it out of the way. I don't know where I'd store this if I brought the other trommel over. Also, I should mention, we're not using the dump truck, as you can see. I've moved up the, uh, the wall at the entrance by quite a bit, as you can see, so we're going directly into the system now. Much faster mining, it's great. Unfortunately, this ground's crap, though, as per usual. So we're not getting much gold, but we're pushing dirt through like crazy. So uh, we should be able to do a bit, a, quite a bit of mining today, assuming we don't get major breakdowns as we usually do. Now, where are the connect points? They are at the bottom. Oh, oh, come on. Remove the hose before detaching. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we should be okay. We'll just tighten it that way. And these are actually the perfect cables for doing this. Uh, they'll be nice and tight, and I'll be able to lift it really high in the air. Okay, and we may, we may as well sell it right away. I don't know how much this thing's worth. Probably not much, but hey, it's better than having this sit here. Damn it, are you serious? Oh, you bastard. Okay, I was just saying how perfect these things were, and we might need to get the bigger ones, because I don't know if this will work. Can I grab that? Gimme. Give Gimme give it! This is why I'm scared about winter, because the thought of having to move all this stuff, I might even just deal with the repairs again. Honestly, repairs might be better than trying to place all this crap. Okay, this one's here. Oh my god, are you are you serious? I wonder if I could hang on this, and I never thought about that. No, it looks like it just gets expanded. Um, so yeah, this is me just jumping around the episode. Oh, now I can't attach it, because it's in the damn trauma! There we go, okay. This thing's already falling off, as you can see. It looks like it's gonna fit this time, so that's good. Is there another one? Did I drop the other one or something? Oh, it is there. I just can't see it. Okay, attach that. <gasps> Ugh, okay. Okay, it's really hard to walk on this thing because it's round. I mean, that, that makes sense, right? Ah, but there we go. It worked. Now, hopefully those cords don't break. This is too... Is it stuck in there? Because it, it looks like there's a little bit of slack. All right, all right. That, that, uh... No! I didn't want to put it on there! Oh, you bastard! Oh, I'm so frustrated right now. I That was just like the ultimate troll. Like, how could that end e any worse? It, it actually placed it back on it. So now, I, I actually wish it just fell over there. I would have dragged it with my truck or something instead of dealing with the damn excavator. Oh my god, I am so frustrated. <laughs> should, I, should I just get bigger cords at this point? Are they there, that's better. We actually got some slack this time. So clearly it was a little glitch last time. Just don't drop it in there. Should we bring it up higher? Yeah, you know what? I want to get it out of the way of everything. I'm very scared I'm going to break these cords, so I'm taking my time. Oh, that's actually perfect. That's beautiful. Okay. We did it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she oh my God! What the f- Oh, this is just not my day, is it? This is just not my day. That freaking slingshotted, man. Okay, come on. Let's just go. Let's just go. I'm, I'm done with you. We still have one cord. That's all I need, damn it. Ugh. Okay, what's the damage here? We do not want to sell the big excavator. That's the important one. 
Um, also, I had a steel cable here. Everything else I think is good. Yeah, that's all just old stuff that was broke down. All right, 12 grand in the bank. I guess that's better than nothing. Uh, no, don't sell it. I just want to get inside of it. Am I stuck again? I'm stuck again! Ah! All right, gotta be honest. I don't know which side is supposed to go on what side in this one. On the other one, the engine was on the right. So, when we flip this around, yeah, we should be in the correct direction. Uh, hopefully that's correct. So, we'll just put this on like so. And we don't have to rotate it like last time. It's always a pain in the butt to try and rotate giant pieces of machinery. Oh, hey, look. One, one of my hooks that broke up. Okay, please make this easy for me. Getting rid of the old trauma was not easy. God, it's already the end of the day. We, we, we need to start digging today, man. All right, so we're just going to... Oh, man, this is... We might need to get the small cords. Problem is going this way. I mean, I, I have to take a small voyage to get over there. There's actually a lot of crap here now, as you can clearly see. And the excavator... This is what the excavator's like going uphill, guys. It is... It is mind-numbingly slow. Oh, there we go. Just just got a boost for no reason at all. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Am I going to breach that? Am I going to hit my... I'm going to hit the Frankenstein. Let's not hit the Frankenstein. Last thing I want is my most expensive piece of equipment to die. Oh, God. Is this... What? Oh, damn it. I should probably pay attention where I'm driving, too. Oh, yeah. I'm hitting it. Oh, God. I just had that aligned! Now I have to drag this on the ground. I'm definitely going to break a cord. I am definitely... There's too much crap here. I, I, I'm so rich. I have too much heavy machinery. Lower it. Please, just just place it. Just be kind to me, please. Yeah, that ain't gonna work, but maybe I can move it now. We're gonna back up. Rotate around. Just gotta move. Yeah! That actually worked. Okay. Oh, God. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done moving things. We're, we're done upgrading our equipment, man. This is, this is too stressful. Okay, we're just gonna move that back there. Did I? I did. I did leave my cables over there. You know what? Like I said, we're not moving anything anymore, so uh, it doesn't matter. The cables are gone. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, we got the upgrade in. Now we can officially mine. Oh yeah, that's right. Duplex jig. I gotta repair that as well. Um, before we mine, obviously. But that's all right. We're not totally prepared yet, anyways. Let's make sure this thing's working. So, oh, thanks for not building a walk. Uh, seriously. Okay, so I gotta go down here to plug this thing in now. That's a little confusing. But let's just turn on the trommel, make sure she's working. So, where is it? Oh, there it is right there. Old Arnold trommel. And that light didn't destroy it. Uh oh, I'm up. Why isn't it rotating? It says it's getting power. Is it actually broken? I didn't think it'd actually be broken. Or is it. Is there like an internal wheel? No, this should definitely be spinning, right? I'm, I'm not freaking crazy. Okay, I can spin it with my legs, so... Uh, should I be worried? Uh-oh-oh. Is that it? Okay. It was the actual cable. The cable actually broke it. So, you actually gotta get debris out of these machines, or they will wedge in and be destroyed. How does this thing work, by the way? It doesn't even have any... How does the dirt come down? All right, well, let's prep the machinery. We're gonna have to realign old Frankenstein now, because I hit it a little bit, as you can see. But uh, it's been working good. We kind of have it right on the ledge here. And as you can see, probably last episode, we were way back here. I've done a lot of mining, and uh, we're actually getting into the other zone that we mined. I think this was the first hole we did on this site. It could be this. No, that was actually the second, because we did this hole first, technically, and then expanded upon it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna try and mine over there. I know there's a few good gold veins over there. Still got a little bit of dirt on the actual Frankenstein itself. Uh, but this has been nice. Now, now that we're closer to my my operation, I can simply... I actually have this thing retracted by quite a bit right now. But yeah, I can simply just put it where I need it to go, which is right there. Maybe extend this out a little bit, make sure it's falling into it. But yeah, now before we start everything up, we'll just fill this thing with as much as we can. It looks like this is gonna need some fuel too, so we'll have to refuel. Uh, but yeah, very easy to get dirt into my system now. This thing's right on the ground. I can push dirt and put so much dirt through my system so quickly. And now that we don't have dump trucks to deal with, I just chill in this thing the whole time. It's, it's great. It's like I actually have employees now. Well, I don't actually have employees. It's all automation, man. But yeah, before, the frustrating thing about this game is having to do all the jobs yourself. You can't hop, hire a dump truck guy. You can't hire a, a mechanic. You gotta do everything your, your own. Okay, now we are officially ready, at least hopefully. Everything good? Let me just make a double check. It's looking good to me. Once we get water in this system, it should be rock and roll. All right, turn everything on. 
Just don't need these three things on, because that would be wasting power. How much power am I using? Still got almost double the power in this system. Oh, crap. We're going to have to turn on the water quick. I forgot. New system. I need to actually go over here and turn the knob. We might lose a little dirt here, but it takes a while to go through the system, so I don't think we will. So, yeah, now we have to manually turn it on or off. And uh, the one thing you want to make sure... Okay, perfect time. We actually just had it start going, starting to go through the system. The one thing you want to make sure, though, is when you're doing a clean-out to turn off the water, because that can actually clean out your moss mats when you're taking them off. So that's one thing I'm going to have to be sure to remember. All right, this looks like it's working. We obviously... How does it... How do you work? Okay, so it's got a little hole there. I don't know if you can see. No, actually, it doesn't. I don't know. It's freaking magical how this thing works. I. Oh, yeah, okay. At the bottom, it's got a little opening. So I'm assuming that there's less chance for it to lose the precious dirt not on this part. At least I'm, I'm thinking that's how it works, and that's how it's more efficient. All right, but we already got 9%. Let's start up the Frankenstein, because we probably need more on our system now. Yeah, it's all, it's all spent. And yeah, now the great thing is I can actually mine while extracting gold as well. So turn that on. There's all the good stuff. We're gonna, we have 100% yield going through that right now. So that's a little bit over a dump truck worth uh, from my calculation. So we should uh, be able to get this almost done in probably the next 10 minutes or so. It really doesn't take long to do a, 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 a washout now. All right, and I got about eight or so scoops into the system. As it was expelling itself, we should be having more time to get one more. Now, what I usually do, uh, just to save energy and, and gas and everything, is I'll turn off the system as I load up the Frankenstein once again. So, once we're done this, just drop this in there. We don't need to be perfect with our aim. It usually fills it up. 9% left. We'll turn this off. We need to refuel anyways as well. And, uh, yeah, that should be a lot of dirt added to our system really, really quickly. So, just turn this off. Let's see what we're working with over here. Make sure there's no breakdowns or anything, because that's always horrifying. Do we still got dirt going through the system? It just emptied, it looked like. Ah, uh, yeah, there's still some in those, as you can see, but it's going through the system quite well. We're 50% done already, and I haven't really been mining at all. Like, it's still, it's not, it's not even midnight yet. This is crazy, and I'm already 50%. Uh, so this is by far the best extraction method that I've seen. Um, so I'm gonna go turn off the water real quick. Now that it's dry, Looking like everything is fantastic over here. A nice 55% stable. So we'll shut everything off. And then because we're still pumping water into our tower, just turn on the pump and we're good to go once again to fill up the Frankenstein. You know what worker I truly want in this game? Gas man, because there's nothing more annoying than refueling everything. We just need a guy that will automatically <laughs> refuel all the equipment. And then my life would be amazing, because uh, that's the one downside to using gas-powered equipment, man, is just... Sitting here, doing this, filling up this thing to fill up other things, makes you lose your mind after a while. Especially considering I got like 250 hours in this game now. I've done a lot of gas refilling. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Alright, there we go. We're refilled, stocked, locked, and ready to rock. Let's do this. Well, the refueling slowed me down a little bit. It is now mid-morning, but look at this. I'm breaking into our old hole. This is kind of exciting for me. I've been patiently waiting for this day. You know, you, you don't have much to think about when you're doing... This mindless mining, which I edit out the vast majority of it, so I'm just sitting here thinking a lot of the times. And, uh, yeah, it's been a, a, a major goal of mine, for some weird reason, to reach my other hole. That sounded wrong, but we did it! We reached it! And that's probably only exciting to me, but hey, if you, if you were here for hours on end doing this, it'd probably be ex exciting for you, too. All right, and we'll do one final bucket. I have a sneaky suspicion that, uh, I think we're nearing the total full point of our system, so we'll let this go. I just want to see how much we got in those moss mats right now. Still got quite a bit in the bucket, as you can see, so we got a little bit to go through the system. Uh, we can obviously just shut this off when it's actually filled, and yeah, good time. Good t thing I came here. Interestingly enough, this bucket's yielding more. Usually they're exactly the same. All right, but that should be all the dirt we need. Obviously, quite a bit still needs to go through the system, so we should be good, and... I gotta say, just like last episode, I don't expect much out of this yield, just because we're we're pushing really crap ground right now. I'm just trying to expand out my hole. Uh, that way we can bring the excavator over a little bit and uh, start mining out that giant mountain over there, because, as I always say, at the edge of that mountain, that's where the good stuff truly is. Did I leave this on? I did leave this on. It's a good thing we came back here. Uh, that would have been a lot of wasted gas. Damn it. 
Okay, I guess we can turn off the conveyor belt too, because as you can see, it's all out of dirt. And let's go back to the system before we start overloading it. I don't think we will, though. We still got 4% in this. And we're probably close to max. Oh, we're actually, uh, we are maxed. Okay, shut everything off. Um, I'll just go do the water right now. Mats and the Hawkman are full. I know, this is a good problem to have. And it's always a great feeling when you do 100% clean out. We got 100% everywhere this episode, too. So uh, the ground might not be good, but we should get a pretty good payday regardless. And maybe I'm crazy, but I'm feeling like this will be a good clean out. I swear these mats sometimes look a little bit different. Uh, depending on how good the ground is and you can see all those little gold speckles in them um, It looks way more than usual That could just be my mind. I could be a little bit crazy, which I probably am at this point I mean I am playing a gold mining simulator that gives me no money at all So even that in itself is a little bit crazy, but yeah, it could be in my mind But I do notice that uh, the, the mats sometimes look a little bit more gold filled and these ones are the best that I've seen in a while Oh, no, 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 no Ah, this is the day. I needed one more. One more! Oh, now they're everywhere. Ah! Oh, never mind. Okay. Whew. Let's, let's, let's not complain too much when that happens. All right. It's time once again. The best time of the day when we do another payout. So, I actually organized the buckets this time just because I'm curious to see what the yields we get. These three are the duplex. These are from the moss mats. We actually had so much that we got two buckets, and uh, we got some from the, uh, the top rock grade as well. All right, so there we go. That wasn't much magnetite, so I don't think we can tell how good the dirt is by the duplex jigs, which is why I like them so much. We'll see here. Let me grab another empty bucket. This is looking like real bad dirt. We're only at 19 grams right now. Man, I was getting excited, excited with the nuggets, but this will tell us if we get good yields in these back buckets with really crap duplex jigs, that means the bottom of our wash plants being much more efficient, uh, which is obviously how it should be right now because we have two tier fours, 44 Gs. That's, that might be the smallest yield I've ever gotten out of 100%. So 44 Gs, man, we, we, we've, we've had cleanouts where it was 160. But yeah, obviously, if these buckets have pretty good yields, that indicates that we are much more efficient in our system right now. Uh, we definitely got to upgrade these duplex jigs. Did I just... Okay, it's still going through. My bad. Okay, so there is our duplex jig buckets done. Um, just judging by the magnetite in this bucket, this one won't be too good either. I can't believe we have less than 200 Gs with four buckets done. Oh, uh, it's so hard to gauge how well our system is now just because of the crap dirt we're putting through it. <sighs> but you gotta expand out of that hole, like I keep saying, man. Can't just have an entrance and then, because we have the Frankenstein, we have to expand out everything. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we got here. I guess we could just do this last little bit here. Uh, what did that give us? 296. That's really actually not bad considering we got 44 Gs. I mean... When we got about 120, we'd get about a 600 gram bucket from what I remember. So we are being more efficient. I can tell you that much. And we still have this little bucket to do, which has close to nothing in it. But that should give us a little bit more as well. So there's all the moss mats, 34 Gs more. And then this is the top rate. I don't think you need to put this through the magnetite separator technically, but I always do it for good luck. Now the top grades will not be affected by the new trommel. It was just the moss mats that would be, obviously, because, well, the top grades are before the trommel aspect of it. But still, we'll see how much we got. I thought this would be a good payday. This might be worse than, yeah, this is probably going to be worse than the last episodes. But hey, we're buying upgrades right now. We're not finding a crazy amount of gold. And uh, it's still really fun, regardless of how much we're getting. At least we're making money, we're making profits, and we're expanding out our gold mining empire right now. So yeah, that is officially the saddest cleanout we've had with the best equipment we've ever had. 140 Gs with the top. My God, sometimes we get like 500 Gs with that. So that tells you how bad this dirt truly is right now. All right, well, obviously I wish we had a great cleanout. We were making millions of dollars, but like I said, uh, right now we're focusing on expanding this out. Man, this is 
This is so much bigger. I, I, ne I never really sit here and appreciate how much we've truly expanded this thing out. Uh, obviously, next episode, I'm going to dig in here because, as you can see, I do I wasn't very efficient at getting all the gold out of here. This is still really good ground here, so it's kind of why I went this way. I'll obviously to expand out so we can move the Frankenstein down as the wall goes this way as well. Uh, but yeah, the next episode, we at least should be in some okay dirt. And uh, yeah... Slowly and surely, we might actually mine out this full site. This is a giant claim, mind you, but we've we've moved a lot of it. Uh, may, maybe like 10%, though. We still got so much more to do. So yeah, on the next one, uh, probably we're going to go for the duplex jig, unless something major happens that we need. Obviously, the other goal is the another Frankenstein. I want to, you know, obviously get two Frankensteins so we can constantly just automatically load this in. Don't get me wrong, the dump truck isn't too much of a big deal but it slows down the whole process by a little bit. But yeah, the next upgrade will definitely be those duplex jigs, just so we have a full tier four system. Uh, and then obviously we have tier five to think about, we have new claims to think about, and we have Frankensteins to think about. So still many more upgrades coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this pretty crazy episode. And yeah, guys, as always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.